You're watching 18 News at 5. While live music can be found all across the Twin Tiers, recording music is even more prevalent. 18 News spoke with the owner of a local studio to find out more about the recording side of the business in this week's Music Minute. Welcome to Wendy and Jim's Music Minute. Hey, Jim. Glad to be here today. Absolutely. Who do we have with us? I'm really excited. Wouldn't have missed this for the world. We have Curtis Capion Poole from FMG Studios. Curtis, thank you for being with us today. Tell us a little bit about your studio and how you got in the business. FMG Recording Studio, located in Elmira, New York, 100 North Main Street in the Strathmont Building. Um, I got started as an artist. Initially, uh, I did my own recordings and we would travel to like Binghamton, Ithaca, to, like Pyramid mm -hmm. Sounds, and it got kind of expensive. So I was actually encouraged to purchase my own equipment mm -hmm. to save money. So we did that. We recorded out of my basement for a long time. And then as the need grew, working with clients in the area, we decided to take it to another level and we got the space downtown and haven't looked back since. Awesome. So now Wendy and I, uh, we highlight a lot of musicians and a lot of folks that are they're writing their own music. If you were to give some advice to an artist going into the studio of how to prepare and be ready, um, what would you tell them? Uh, if you're a vocal artist, I mean, practicing your lyrics, uh, your melodies, your cadences, um, I think that's really important, especially prior to going to the studio because a lot of people's experience is different when they get to the studio if they've never recorded before. Mm -hmm. Like the nerve factor, mm -hmm. being around other people, performing in front of others. So if you're limited to a time, definitely being as comfortable with your music prior to coming to the studio always helps. Well, Curtis, thank you so much for joining us today. For more information on Curtis and FMG Studios, go to MyTwinTears.com.